Hello guys, it's me Adam B and today I am doing a day in the life of a TV presenter. Now some of you may know already that I have another job which is TV presenting. I present Blue Peter which is the longest running kids TV show on the planet. Yep, that's a fact, trust me. It is. Google it. And I'm always being asked, Adam, what's it like behind the scenes at Blue Peter? What's it like to present kids TV? What's it like to just love a day as a TV presenter? And today I'm doing just that. As you can see, I have my TV makeup already on. It's currently, I don't have a watch, but it's about nine, half nine. Uh, my call time today is 9.45, so that's good. So if you're excited for this video, make sure to smash the like button, press subscribe. I actually can't wait to show you guys around the studio, meet everyone and see the things that go on to make a TV show. But first, let's actually head to the studio because I am nearly late. I'm nearly late. Good start, Adam. Good start. Hello. It's actually a nice day here in Manchester. There's no rain, which is a first. And right over there is our studios. Our studios is called the Doc 10 Studios, and basically inside they have loads of different sets uh, for different TV shows. And in one of those rooms is the set for Blue Peter, which I'm going to show you very, very soon. But first, let's head inside. I'm in. So, this is the corridor to all of the studios. There's the BP badge, look. A very sparkly BP badge. Hi, BP badge. So, look in here. We have a studio in there. I don't want to walk in just in case I get in trouble. We also have another studio. <gasps> this is Blue Peter. This is the Blue Peter set. Ta da! We're in a bigger studio today. It looks very, very fancy. It always amazes me how much stuff goes on in a Blue Peter studio today. It is crazy. There's so much people to make it all work. I'm excited. So basically, this is Lee. This is the lighting director, and he presses like buttons to turn on specific lights and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. Oh, you control them ones over there? Yeah, and I'll put the big ones as well. Ah, that's pretty cool. Wow, this is like the ultimate toy chest for any kid. It's the best toy box in the world. I love your shirt, by the way. Thank you. Every week, he always has a matching shirt and mask. I love that. Lee, you're a legend. Oh, there's the BP doors. The BP doors are here. I'm walking through. This is how I came through on my first day, if you remember that. It's Adam! Yeah! Oh my god! Ta da! <gasps> no way. A Mars rover? Oh wow. I think I'm chatting about that today in today's show. When you're a BP presenter, you get half a face on a board. Look at that half a face. We also have Henry, <laughs> we have me, we have Marcy, and then Richie. He's not let up because. It's Richie. This is the big badge wall. And uh, there is a picture of me from Rory. Thanks, Rory. It's pretty good. There's the three of us up there. Uh, the trio. I'm always the dog walker, and I'm there too, walking Henry. See? I'm just a good dog walker. Oh, look who it is. It's Richie Driz. How are you? Good. How are you? How are you? They're, they're good. Good. Have you missed me? I was off last week, so it meant that he didn't have a show with me. His like best mate ever, his best friend on the whole entire planet. He missed me. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I did it. I did that shit. <laughs> <Yes, laughs> I got the words out. I love the size of the lens in that thing. It is humongous. All the cameras are pointing to that. I don't know why they point to that. I should actually ask. The question I have is why do all the cameras point at that like little chart at the start of the show? We need to check that all the cameras are set up the same so that when we switch between them, the colors don't change. Oh, so right. what they're doing is color balancing all the cameras and making sure that they all look identical. Is this where you have like the shot list? Yep, we've got um, plans of where all the cameras go and we've got what we're doing in the day and then we've got all our shots. So now it's time for production read through. What that means is that we're going to read through the script, see if all of the lines make sense, see that there's no mistakes and that it flows well. And uh, yeah, it's just us basically reading out the lines for 30 minutes. Have a look. Hello. Hiya. Hey. 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 Oh, this guy, this guy basically tells me what to do. Um, what to do. Yeah, he's he's the boss around here. 
So uh, he points his like pen, he points his marker when he wants yes. me to go to places. Yeah, I point, I point my hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to do something else there. <laughs> so yeah, just finished read through. Um, on Blue Peter, we actually have a script and there's no auto cue, so we have to learn our lines off by heart. Basically, that's what I do the night before usually. Oh my god, I'm super bright here. But yeah, basically we read the lines the night before, try and get them in the head and we have the final version today. I'm gonna go back to the dressing room now and cram some more lines. These are like the skinniest steps ever. Look how small these are. This is the, one of the best views, I think. You get to see the entire set. So up here is called the gantry. How cool is that? Like, just have a look at the amount of lights. There is so many lights here. It just it boggles my brain. Sound control in here. I'm literally just taking you a tour on the, of the full studio. This is the production gallery. I wonder if anyone's in here. So this is the gallery. This is where they have all the screens. And this is how the director can cut to camera to camera. The producer sits here as well. He's like in my ear. I have an earpiece and she basically tells me what to do. But how cool is this? There's so many screens. So, so many screens. How do you know when to cut to cameras? It's like playing the piano and my fingers have to know where they are. So this this button's got um, a bit of sticky tape on it. That's where right. a previous vision mixer has done it. It's like braille programming. So like the wipe is on a, the wipe oh, is on a Mac. No way. Okay, I'm pressing it. Yeah. Oh my God, that is so cool. And in here we have the dressing room. We have Hannah, who is like my studio mom. Hi, Hannah. Hello, darling. She is the stylist. She makes me look good on camera. I have to trust her with everything. Uh, here we have, uh, yeah, so here we have, uh, here we have Holly. She's the makeup artist. She also makes us look very good on camera. Here's the boss again. Usually when you see him, it's like you need to hurry up. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, Alex, okay. I present the TV with this guy. Um, his name is Richie Driss. You guys think about that? Yeah. Okay, so, I need to get changed, don't I? I'm feeling red today. Red. Yeah. Go red. Michael Red. What do you want, though? You've got options, Ants. Oh. We're going for the bottom. And Michael Black, Black Bottoms. Yeah. And look, we're prepared and all because we have the BP badge already on. On. We are okay. prepared, baby. Okay, time to change. Okay, guys, here we go. Time to change in three, two, one. I'm ready to go. Time to head into the studio. Bye. Here we go. Here we go. I need to get mic'd up. I need to put the earpiece on. I need to do a lot. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, well, go. Good thank you, Andre. Go. Thank right. you. I'll see you later. See you soon. Richie's doing his first bit. Richie, don't mess up. You're on camera. No, another one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How'd it get in there? Oh, am I into it? Fuck you, Bye. This is uh, this is Jack. Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's this is Jack. That's all there is to say. I'm I'm the guy. I'm the guy that writes the script. So I'm the guy that writes down everything Adam doesn't say. And he's he's also the guy who writes all of the jokes. So he makes me look funny. It's a good job he's handsome, isn't it? <laughs> I love his Jack. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, let's give it a go, please. And just like that, it's lunchtime. Uh, we have different lunches um, around like Thursday, so it could be 12 o'clock, could be 1 o'clock, could be 2 o'clock. Today it's 1 o'clock. I want some food to get in my belly. Ah, got some burger. And chips. Oh, I can't wait for this. How oh. mm. You need a full tummy to present, trust me. I get an extra extended lunch. I get an 
extended lunch. Sorry, no. <laughs> is that your attempt at my accent? That's right. Is that? I thought that was you speaking. Yeah, right. Really? How is your Northern yeah, Irish yeah, accent? That was pretty good. No, no, no. <laughs> that was terrible. That was no, that was terrible. How is your Northern Irish accent? Okay. Hang on, I have to try and do Richie's one now. Richie Driss is just the coolest guy of all time. Richie Driss is just the coolest guy of all time. <laughs> You sound more like Hugh Grant. Oh my <laughs> days. It's, it's dead. It's a neutral dead. It's thing. dead. Yeah. It's just a neutral dead. So I've just learned some lines and now I'm up at the gantry to throw off some helicopters, I think. Look how high this is. This is uh, pretty high. Is that what I'm doing? That's yours. Got it. Three, two, one. Go! Woo! I consider that rehearsals done. Guys, we also have a dog for Blue Peter. He's called Henry. Hello, Henry. What's that? Is that the people on YouTube? Huh? Huh? You saying hello? Okay. Ah. He loves to sleep. He loves to eat. And he loves to mess around when we're live. Tell us a joke. Can you tell us a joke? Please? But no, make sure you're back here next week as it's Fan Club Takeover where the show has literally, literally been chosen by you. Yes, we have a few suggestions. Uh, Glitzy girl, I think all the presenters should learn to act as each other like this. <laughs> What's going on everyone? I'm Adam Lee. Please like and subscribe and blah 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 blah, just like that. Good. Funny, funny. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Keep watching CBBC because we have um, that camera, Richie. some. Yeah. I, was at, I was looking at that camera. You know what? To be fair, that was yeah, a pretty good impersonation of me. Yeah. 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 Guys, could we do that again, but better. <laughs> That's Jack's line. I love that. So we just finished. Uh, what do you call it again? The dress run. Dress run. Good. Yeah. Forgot the name of it there. Uh, but we just finished dress run, and we're going live in literally 14 minutes exactly. So uh, yeah, this is part of the day where we get hyped up, we get adrenaline, we have a fire under our bum because we're going live on TV. Like whatever we do, get streamed on telly. Guys, I'm not sure about you, but I've spotted someone really familiar around the studio. Um, <laughs> That's Connor. Hang on. Like our usual set. How did how did you get here? Uh, teleported. He teleported from Ireland. He came through the door. Oh, he came through the BP doors. But one thing that always amazes me is how fast they deconstruct everything. They take down everything and they turn the lights off and. That's it for another week. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do fan club now because this lady here is she's uh, she wants me to go ASAP. So I'm going to go now and do fan club. Fan club is just like an after show thing that you do online. You should check it out. Right, come with me, quick. These guys wanted to be in the video because they they do sound, so they control how I sound. So thanks for making me sound good. That's great. Now now we've finished. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're going into the production office to do some fan club live. Here we go, we have the, the BP logos on the screen. How cool is that? Right, and this is my little setup here. We have the ring light. We have Shan, who's on the other line. And yeah, we're about to go live again. Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to fan club live. It's me, Adam, and how epic was this week's show? I can't believe the prizes in the new competition. And can I please enter? Is that allowed? No? Oh, what's this? Oh, you didn't have to. Oh, oh, thank you. I got a birthday present. That's the best way to end off a day of BP. I'm walking out with my Krispy Kremes, and uh, would you look at that? It's uh, a day of BP has finished. That was the fastest I've ever travelled to a train station. I'm in London. And just like that, I'm in London, 
ready for tomorrow's shit. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for some more TV presentingness. That's a word. Night night. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> I could sleep. And I forget where to go. I'm doing a VT in Hamleys today. It's a toy store and I am so, so excited. We're chatting about Christmas stuff and it's never too early for Christmas. I love Christmas, so I'm like so happy today. And just like that, it's a wrap. On to the next shoot. You know you made it when you pull up beside bins. I've made it in TV, guys. It's official. There's bins. It's bins! <laughs> <laughs> it's a bin! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm out of school today. Gonna do a little interview with a guy named Kamarni, and we're gonna talk about reggae music. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? The BP crew sometimes uh, cause havoc when we're out doing film shoots, uh, like this one over here. Right, thanks. Thanks for that. So the crew are setting up. We have uh, Kate Troy here. She's setting up the, the camera. Best. She likes to think she's the best. I am the best. She likes to think and so. You just said one of your favorite BTs with me. True. I mean, she is the best. I am. <laughs> so we're getting set up to do another little interview, and this is like the coolest primary school ever. Everything's like brand new. Oh my god, Adam! <laughs> I swear. I'm getting a crash course on DJing, guys. Wow! And just like that, it's a wrap. I'm gonna catch a taxi to the train station to go back to Manchester to fly home. But I'm gonna end this video off here, guys. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, press subscribe, and hopefully you enjoyed a day in the life of a TV presenter. I mean, yeah, that's what I get up to in a 24 hour period for Blue Peter. I'll catch you next time, it's been me, Adam B, over and out.